Hey hey, welcome back to Karen's Papercraft. Thank you very much for watching. I'd love that you were kicked. Thank you well. I think that for today's project I have designed just about the smallest box that I've ever made. See how tiny it is? Two tiny boxes, one a bit bigger than the other, and the trucking along builder punch, and you can create this packaging. Isn't it sweet? Can it hold a lot? Not really but it is cute. At the end I have a bonus for you because with a small adjustment you can make this an open bed truck. If you want to find out how you can make one of these sweet little packagings packagings, that's not right, that's not correct English is it? That's not right, no. Um, gift packaging? Come and join me. Here I'm showing you the truck in a little more detail. I've stamped on the cardstock because, well, I wanted to give it that flower power look. And there you see the tiny box that I've made. This box makes the cabin of the car. And there's another small box that makes the body. And I'll show you the supplies that I've used. The trucking along builder punch. And I stamped the flowers with a sweet citrus stamp set. Then you need some paper, cardstock. And I'll walk you through the bits that you need. You need a strip of cardstock which is um, 8 inches by 1 and 3 8 in centimetres, that is 20 by 3 and a half. And you if you want to stamp on the cardstock, you stamp on this on both sides. Then you need a piece which is 3 by 4 inches, 7.4 by 9.9 .9 centimetres. This is for the body of the car, the, the slightly larger box. I need a piece of cardstock which is three and a quarter by two and five eighths, 8.2 by 6.6 .6 centimeters. I'm going to stamp on this in a minute to show you how I did the stamping. Then you need a strip of basic black cardstock which is three quarter inch wide. So let us say um, that's 1.9 centimeters, I think it is. Um, let me just think. In a quarter inch. Let me, just, let me get my um, my table. Yeah, one point nine. Okay. Um, to stamp to to punch the wheels, I need some scraps of basic white to make the windows of the car. Okay, I'll start with the stamping of the top of the car to show you how I did stamping and as I promised you I'm going to use the Sweet Citrus stamp set and this is Berry Burst ink and I'm stamping just, just one side of the cardstock, that's okay. You don't have to stamp on both sides. You do stamp on both sides on this longer strip because when you punch the car you want to be able to reverse the car. I'll show you in a minute when I've finished the stamping and the colouring. So that's okay. I'm cleaning off my stamp. And then on the chamois as well. Okay. Then I'm going to put the centres of the flower in. Again, the same stamp set and you have these smaller centres and a larger centre and I'm stamping those in crushed curry. So this has been stamped as well and then I'm going to show you how I make the sides of the car, the, the sides that you can punch. You can see here, I'll open the punch and then these are for the body and the cabin so I'll put those over here. And then I'm going to punch the car twice. Because you see on the car you want one car to go that way and the other one to go that way to be able to have them in a sort of mirrored position. So that is why I have stamped on both sides of the paper. 
Now I'm going to need the fenders of the car and for those I'm just going to cut up my cardstock. And look for where there are flowers. And here's the fender, see? So you can put it in and then make sure that you have flowers on the fender and you need four. So that's one, this looks better, that's two, and then, see that one doesn't look very nice but I can try the reverse side, see if that works better, three, just one more and then I'll take the other piece. And that's number four, okay. You need four wheels. So I'm punching them from the strip of basic black cardstock. <laughs> you should see my craft room. There's these bits flying everywhere. So that is four wheels, okay. Some windows. They're here at the top, or there were still some scrap bits in my punch. Got a window there at the top. So one and two. And then I'm going to use this piece of paper later to hand cut some windows. But I'll do that when I'm ready for that, otherwise I will be losing these bits. Okay, so I have all my bits ready. Now then, one car faces that way, the other one faces that way. So one window goes that way and the other one faces that way. I've got the wheels ready and the fenders. And again, I'm looking for where I have nice flowers. And I put these things upside down when I... See, this doesn't look really very nice, so this one does. So this is my glue side, and I put them upside down. It makes it easier for me to stick them on. That one looks okay on both sides, and this one too. Okay, I'm ready to adhere everything. I'm using just the Tombow, and I'll show you with one car. And then I'll stop filming for a minute because you don't have to watch me do both sides, do you? So I'm putting some glue on every individual bit. And then I take my tweezers and put everything on. And now you see why I find it easy to put things upside down, because I can move them around in one movement. And the fender I stick down just a bit lower than the body of the car. Not so low that the car wouldn't be able to drive anymore. See? That's one side of the box and I'll go and do that one. So that's these two bits finished. I'll put them in my tray. Why not? So that I won't lose them. I will start with the body of the car. This is the 4x3 inch piece and with the 3 inch side top, so in centimetres this is 74 by 99 centimetres and with that 79 centimetres top you're going to score at half an inch. At one and a quarter. I find it easier to do it this way, then I can hold the paper there, then I turn the paper as you could see me do, then I score at one and three quarters. And at two and a half. It 
in centimetres that is 1.2, 3.1, 4.3 and 6.2 centimetres. Then with the 4 inch side top, the 9.9 .9 centimetre side top, you score at half an inch and at 1 inch. Then you go to 3 inches. and three and a half inches and in centimeters that is 1.2, 2.4, 5 and 6.2 centimeters. I'm going to fold and burnish all these score lines and I'm making them really flat because it's a tiny box so I do want it to be the paper to be pliable. makes it easier to stick the box together. The smaller the project, the stiffer the paper seems to be. So I've folded and burnished all these score lines. Now I'm going to cut. You have two half inch sides, so it doesn't really matter where you, which side you take to start the cutting. First I'm going to cut away these four. And I can wedge this one, that's going to be the glue flap, wedge it there as well. See? Now I'm going to cut up these as far as the second score line. You have a wider part and two narrower parts. The two narrower parts you cut shorter and you wedge them. And then this is going to be the sticking flap. I'm going to shorten that just a bit. It makes it easier to slide it into the box later. So this is what I have so far. Now for the other end I'm going to cut up those score lines again to the second score line. You have four flaps. These two you fold back and then you cut away that one. The narrower flap again you shorten and you wedge. This one too. And again this is the flap that's going to slide into the box. You shorten it just a bit and then you wedge. Almost ready. I'm going to put some tear and tape on, on the glue flap obviously. And then I'm going to there's this box here, which I don't want too near because I keep bumping into it. Okay, now I'm going to shorten this flap just a bit. Two millimeters, one eighth of an inch, it's even less than that I think. Oh great, now I've been throwing my rubbish in the bin where I keep my bits which are ready. Oh, never mind. Okay, uh, to stick the box together, just fold it over, remove the backing, <laughs> it's just... <laughs> okay, now, here you have the side that you glue down, so I'm going to make this the front of the box, and I can see if I can slide it in easily, and I have to... shorten it a bit and make this just a bit more at an angle then I can now it's better see now I can slide it in it's it's handmade it's sometimes you just doesn't it doesn't fit but if you use your scissors it will fit I'm going to glue this side shut the front 
of the car. So just a bit of Tombow and then slide it in and then use a pen or in this case my piercer and push down. So this is going to be the front with a nice edge there. This is where I slid it in and this is going to be the back of the box. I'm going to do the same thing for the cabin. And I'll show you where to score. This is the piece which is three and a quarter by two and five eighths, 8.2 by 6.6 .6 centimeters. And with that three and a quarter inch side top, so the long side top, the 8.2 side top, you're going to score at half an inch. No, no, sorry, five eighths of an inch. Am I looking? Yes, I'm looking correct. Okay, five eighths of an inch. Then one and three eighths, then two inches, and two and three quarters, and in centimeters that is one point six, three point five, five point one, and seven centimeters. Then the shorter side top you score at half an inch, one and one eighth, one and a half, where is it there, and two and one eighth. And in centimetres that is 1.2, 2.8, 3.8 and 5.4 centimetres. And the folding and the cutting is the same. I'll speed up for this and point the differences out to you, if any. Oh, and before I speed up, there's one difference I should point out. Here you have a half inch glue flap, flap, and here you have the... No, hang on. This is the three quarter inch, no, the five eight inch. And this is the shorter one. And you want... <laughs> Sorry, I'm confusing myself and I'm confusing you. There's a wider strip there and a narrower strip there. And this is, if you want to be precise about it, this is half an inch and that one is five eighths. That, that's where I was confusing myself. So you want to have the half inch, the 1.2 centimeters as your glue flap. So you start the cutting there, the four pieces that you take away. And then it's the same as with the other box. You can see that it looks the same, the cutting I mean. The only difference is that here it is just three eighths of an inch and this is two inches. So, but the way that the box is cut is exactly the same way. So here I'm going to put some tearing tape on and I have a tip for you. Do not put tearing tape on and then try to tear it off because you will tear off that little strip. It's happened to me. So I just snip off a bit of tear and tape which I then put on like that. This is so tiny and delicate that you might just rip it open. Okay, you can put the box together. Oh, and before I do this I'm going to put windows on, some extra windows. You've got half inch sides and three quarter inch sides and I'm going to make extra windows there, front and the back view, 
for the three quarter inch size. So that's what I have this strip of basic white cardstock for. And I'm going to cut a half inch strip. And from that half inch strip, I'm going to cut two quarter inch pieces. And it's easier if you move your cutting blade down and then push it upwards. It's easier to, because then it will butt up against that side and it doesn't slide away. See? Two windows. There we go. It's all very, very tiny, I know, but <laughs> I do like this car. Okay, I'm going to put it on. Again, using some Tombow, just a bit. Don't need a lot because it has a great hold. I just put a little dab on, which I then spread over the paper. So you put them, the windows I mean, on the three quarter inch panels. Right. This is the body ready and this is going to be the cabin and I'll leave that to dry. I'm going to show you how you can put the body onto the sides of the car. So I'm going to close it. I left it open for me to indicate which is the back. So this is the front. So I want this to go on the front of the car, so there. Again, using Tombow. So, that's adhered. Then I'm going to stick the cabin together. So I'm removing that tiny piece of tear and tape, put this on, okay, and here I'm going to glue the flaps shut, so a bit of Tombow, oh I should have tried before I put glue on if it fits, oh thank god it does, okay, and then the other bit fits as well. Okay, so put some Tombow on. Alright, then I'm going to draw in a rear view mirror and a steering wheel. And I want a steering wheel there as well. Okay, now I'm ready to stick the cabin in. Just some glue, not too much. And put it in between and push it down until the glue holds. And there you have a sweet little car which will hold some sweeties. Now, the bonus. I promised to show you how you can make it an open bed truck. So, for the body of the car, I've done this before. I've prepared it, I've snipped off a bit, I've shortened the ends, and now I'm going to shorten this bit. So, the one in between the two flaps that I've cut off entirely. Here, at three quarters of an inch, you're going to put in an extra score line. So that is three quarters of an inch. Where's my scoring tool? I'll show you my prototype there, you can see, see? At three quarters of an inch, and then you cut up those two as far as that score line and you fold it over you wedge it because you want it to fit
and then you can glue this down so like that I'm holding it and then it's the same procedure you close the box where's my piercing tool there it is Okay, you put the front together, glue it down if you want to. Here you fold those flaps in and then again you can use Tombow or you can use the tear and tape, whichever you prefer. Put some glue on and then you push a bit from that end and fold it over and hold it and then you can stick it in between those two sides put the cabin on top and you have an open bed truck that's it for today all the details for this project are on my blog and the link is in the description box below if you enjoyed this video I would love for you to like it or subscribe Leave me a question or a comment. I love to hear from you. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you all for good care and I'll see you next time. Bye bye, Tot Seams.